Okay, I'm going to uh, tell you what you have to know about an immigration interview today. And uh, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of a lot of blogs on this, a lot of YouTubes, and I, I'm just going to give you something that that I've not heard in in the other blogs, a, a different point of view on that. So. <clears throat> They give you this, um, I don't know if they're all, a very early morning appointment, and they line you up. And you go in. And you have uh, three, three short interviews <laughs> if you make it, okay? And um, they ask you very simplistic uh, uh, questions like who is your sponsor when you first get in there where's your um, passport you have to show that and do you have uh, a documentation blah 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 <clears throat> then the amount of people that fail this first this first um, initial test is kind of a mind-boggling to me. Now, the the website gives you everything that you need to know if you study it, and uh, if you haven't had a lawyer help you uh, get get to the immigration interview, you, you have to pay uh, very close attention. Um, but uh, it's because you had someone else pay to to do that. Don't. That don't mean you're going through. I know people that have gone three times and had lawyers uh, help them, and it, did, it didn't do a thing. Um, so we over prepared for this, and yeah, my my wife, my Asawa, she she got she got the immigration visa to the United States, but um, we we over prepared. Uh, we took into account any any possible any possible thing that that could go, and um, we had a packet of, of well, I call it crap, but anyway, it's a, a album of every picture that we we've had from every month. It was it was dated, what we were doing, every every document. They want legal documents. And um, when you get to the, the final interview, they take every document that they ask for and they examine it with some kind of a light to make sure it's on the correct paper. So there, there's no getting around it. And um, if you have your I's and your T's dotted. These people, they <laughs> they don't want to play no games with you, okay? This this guy didn't look my wife even in the eye the entire time of, of the interview, okay? He, he's, she's, you're just a number. You're just a number. This is his job. He wants to do it. He wants to go home. I get it. He's overbooked. There's these there's a million people waiting to, to, to get this visa and he just wants to move <laughs> move on, okay? But and he, and he's gonna ask you maybe five, six questions. And here's the deal, here's the deal. If you have your ducks in a row, they're not gonna go fishing, okay? Oh and, and I, I didn't want to to say this, if this English bothers you, okay, <laughs> the, 
that I am telling you in, in your uh, Filipino and you want your own language, I, I suggest you brush up a little bit on the English so you understand. Yes, you can ask for an interpreter, blah, blah, blah. And maybe that, that will, that's the best way to go if your English sucks. But uh, my common sense says if you want to go to America and you don't know any English, and you can't understand this man. Um, if I'm interviewing you and I'm thinking, wow, this person's already going to have loads of problems, okay? They don't even understand the language. How are they ever going to work there? How are they, you know, going to get along? How can they even buy groceries and ask where uh, the rice aisle is or whatever, whatever it is you're looking for? But, um, Anyway, maybe that doesn't have anything to do with it. That's just common sense. But if your ducks are in a row and uh, you have what they ask for, this crap is going to be over in, in 2.5 minutes. You're, you're, you're going to be done. Um, and over prepare. Bring documents that you're not even sure they'll even even want or even ask for. If you get by them five questions, most of them very easy, you know. Um, some of them, you know, they can tell if, if you're speaking from the heart. Right? They asked, why didn't you marry your Philippine uh, father of your or child? Okay, well, that's, that's not a question that uh, you're prepared to. Uh, you have to answer that from the heart so you, you got to have that together but if you got what they need over over and done the big surprise that we had to, is they asked for um, our daughter's birth certificate it's not my biological daughter but um, we didn't need to bring that but we had it but we had it we had it and they looked at that and it was no need for no other question. Of course, the guy probably glanced and he seen that we had this packet of papers that was humongous. And <laughs> we were ready for whatever this dude was going to ask. But um, yeah, I'm just saying over prepare and you'll probably get very easy, very smooth a time and a question. If you can't answer an easy question that this guy is going to give you, that's the signal for them to dig deep and see if you got a bullshit story going on, okay? And, um, but it's, it's no big deal if you got your ducks in a row, which isn't easy to do because the paperwork in the Philippines is, 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 not easy to come by it's a it's a nightmare but um and and look if, if you if you're here you waited three years to to get to this point um don't mess around don't mess around and you paid a crazy amount of money to do this um so 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 i'm just do it right, do it right, do it right, and uh, it, it'll, it'll be okay. And that, that's just what I wanted to say about it. Um, over prepare, bring more things than you need, and just don't get tripped up by the, the easy questions because you answer yes, yes, it too, you, you answer them correctly, it's going to be smooth. I, I really think that if you screw up one of these easy questions like, like the name of your sponsor or her, do you know his birth date? Okay, if, if you don't know that, you shouldn't be applying anyway because you don't know Jack about uh, your husband or your fiance or, or whatever it is that, that you got going on. So anyway, that's it. That's all I have to say. Uh, and uh, upward and onward. Thank you.